So if you guys have ideas for names, um, please link it down below or just comment it down below on the YouTube video. Um, cause the twins, they've moved in and we're kind of going to like rebrand this podcast. They're going to be on it like all the time. So we're going to make yep. it like our we're thing now. co host Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys have like an idea for a name, what did you come up with the other night when we were outside? I can't remember you or was it you? Um, trend. No, it was stupid as hell. <laughs> it was stupid as hell. It was the trend then. Trend then. I but thought that was kind of dope. That's kind of sick. It, it is, is sick. The good. line it is sick. Then, but the trend then. Yeah, like, it is kind of dope. It is kind of dope. Yeah, I'm that'd be dope. hard, bro. Yeah, even though none of us are on trend. Yeah, literally, but it's, it's like false advertising. It would just be so. yeah. that's that's all the that's all this world is false advertisement. That's yeah. pretty much. I mean, we're just fitting the the niche. You know, we honestly could run that. Yeah, we, we could. The trend then would be hard, or like stoic or sigma response, or like <laughs> what <laughs> stoic. Stoic man or something. I was plotting that in the shower this morning. Sigmatic tendencies or some <laughs> shit like Sigmatic that. Sigmatic tendencies. Yeah. That'd be yeah. So if Mani- you guys, manic talk. That'd be, that'd be cool. Manic, that'd be cool. Manic, manic talk. talk yeah. That'd be good. I'm, I'm, I, you know I messed with that one. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comment down below and then make sure you guys go through the comments and then like whatever the most like comment is will probably send and we'll like rebrand everything. Um, But honestly, going what I just said in the beginning because I wanted to talk about that because we just said like trend even though none yeah. of us take trends. So... Obviously, Greg made that video on you guys. Yeah. Um, Bro. And you already know how, like, a lot of people probably, like, what's, when this is, like, we were talking about this, like, behind, like, the cameras, how, like, if, if you, if you claim natural, people will, like, shit on you saying that you're a fake natty on social media yeah. or whatever. And, but then, like, for you guys, you're open about your gear usage since you've started, but then <laughs> people are saying you're lying about how much you take. It was, we were, when we were natty, people were li- telling us we were lying about our gear use. Like, That's how we came up with gear. the name, Trent Yeah, anything we can possibly make a joke yeah. about, we can. I mean, there was this one time, this guy came up to us when we were in the gym, we were, like, 15. He just started talking about his, he had fuck he's growing titties and shit. And I just like at least you can suck him when you get lonely at night. Yeah, like I don't know why this just comes to my head. That's just like, like one of the earliest <laughs> yeah. moments. Like I was just like, it, that's what popped in my head. So I said that shit, and he looked visibly hurt. He was like, "No, man, like I, it's yeah. fucking depressing. I have titties," and I was just I couldn't like. So yeah, we make jokes out of everything. Yeah. So we just were like, "Fuck it, we're gonna call ourselves a trend twin." Change all the handles, and then ever since then, like, it, it was an irony of being like natties. Like people thought we were. On trend, but now it's like it comes with the territory. So like, mo- half people, half of the people thought we were natty, and then half of the other people thought we were on trend. So I don't know, but we really didn't care because it it doesn't matter if you're like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we're not on we're not on fucking trend. Okay, if I was on trend, I would look much much better. <laughs> yeah, that's why I say like, she, people and I would think about yeah. like gear. The thing about like gear, bro, better. is people don't understand that there's different types, like. It's not like trend is gonna make you super massive, but like it's gonna it's gonna give you a, a nasty look. Mm-hmm. But like the mass that we've accumulated, it's not because we took trend. Like it's like different than that, you know. So the yeah, I mean they're always gonna say so the dosage you guys take and you're open about right now is what you said one fifty. It's one fifty. Well, it was three hundred. We did start in mid October. So there's a video. So me and Chris, we we went on a, our first cut this summer. Mm-hmm. I was telling you about it. Yeah. We got like maybe like ten percent body fat. I was looking good, bro. I was looking the best I ever looked. I was smaller, but it comes with being being yeah. cut up. And and we were we went from benching four twenty five or four. I bench four fifty nineteen, which there's not a video of because my coach was holding his fingers on the bar, so I refused to post it. But that was one hundred percent natural. Like anyone who knows me and Christian Friel knows me, been do, like lifting heavy weights mm-hmm. forever, and like in yeah. like um. So we went on the, we were benching 405 and that was main, gr- mainly like Greg's, yeah. um, argument rebuttal. is that we went down from 420, like benching 425 and shit. And then back to like, we couldn't hit four or five, but we could, but on a good day and this, but this was like, a depleted some, yeah. on our cut, like our but it's from cut the cut, ever. like you lost, you lose yeah. strength naturally just from cutting them. Yeah, and it wasn't like, it was like 25 pounds. Like it was like, it was it also at muscles <coughs> and mu- we all know how muscles, muscles weights, weights are. are different, bro. So like. That's where we shoot our YouTube videos, anyway. So like, so you, you hit four, you hit four fifty and nineteen natty. Yeah, one hundred percent natty. It was in it was college in our room. college weight room, and I had two side spotters and my coach. So in in the video, like my coach has his fingers on the way down and on the way up. So I never, I have a video of it. Maybe I'll throw it in like a transformation video. 
I don't know. Yeah. Are right, you going way off topic here, buddy? Re- reel right. it back. Reel it back. Okay. I don't even remember where the fuck this <laughs> shit started. <laughs> at. We gotta get better know. at this shit. So you did. So you did four fifty natural. You guys recently hopped on. You started. I tore my labrum two weeks after. Really? Yeah. What'd that you tear it doing. It was in the garage, like. Oh, I think you told me. Yeah, about this. it was in the garage when during COVID, Ooh, and we yeah. had like some yeah. rusty. Like you try to put up some weight to like put behind his head to squat it, and it like went back too far, and he tore shit. Like, yeah, it's not fun. Mm-hmm. Labrum tears suck. Yeah. So then you have one. Yeah, a minor one from dislocating longboarding. I was like sliding and stuff. No I was, way, I bro! My what? Wrist so bad longboarding. Yeah, at, the, like, at the church right down the street from when you pull in. Bro had an epic no fail good. and suffered from it. <laughs> it was the scariest thing ever. I'm like, I remember I had like the most cracked workout. It was like the first time I was coming off of like a bulk and cutting for the first time in my life. Right when I started like posting my first TikToks. So I was starting to look like crazy good because the oh. first time I was showing like the muscle, I think I was like 180, 178 something pounds. And I started finally like seeing abs. And I was like hype. And my boy, we used to longboard hella back then. That was like my main hobby. And he was like, yo, let's go practice like sliding uh, at the church parking lot. It was like nighttime. So no one's there. Sliding is like when you kick the board out, slide it back in like that longboard happened in the garage. Yeah. That's, that's the one I did it on. Yeah. And I used to longboard. Bro bit. went from, tr- he traded in the longboard for fucking a GT. Yeah. 500, <laughs> like a Decon. Trading in longboard for cars. But I remember I kicked the board out. I was going in, it was like at nighttime. And I like, I can't remember how, but I flew off the board. And I landed like my arm behind me. And all I remember is like, I, heard a, <laughs> I heard a pop because it dislocated. And I was like, I was like, I like remember just for a brief second. I was like, whoa, like what just happened? And I like, oh. tried to push off the ground. And I felt a bunch of snapping and popping. No. In my it went shoulder, back into and place. It went back, yeah. Yep. And I was like, oh, something. I was like, this. I thought I broke something. And I thought something wasn't right. What's crazy is my dad was praying because he, he he was working on our home gym and he felt that something bad happened. And mm-hmm. he went to his mom's Bible to start praying randomly. And, he, and I came home and I was like, Dad, I got hurt like pretty bad. And he was like, I know. He was like, I, he knew something happened, which was crazy. That's actually wild. Bro. Yeah. And I was freaking out because I just started like the YouTube stuff. I was like, oh no, it's like over. I'm not gonna be able to. Yeah, it was over. And I was like, I remember I had a sling and I have YouTube videos, of my OG like my OG videos where I'm like lifting with one arm in the home gym, just like no <laughs> trying to get the smallest range of motion in my left pack. I was grinding because <laughs> I was like, there's no way I'm not. And it was crazy is I was cutting really really hard as it was healing. And it's still usually labrum tears don't get better like that. And like, I would pray so much for God to heal me. And it like got like literally pretty much a hundred percent better. And then I re-dislocated it when I was at uh, oh LA God. for Brad at Brad's, we were doing like the Ninja warrior course, like a dumbass. And I literally was like saying to myself, I was like, watch me dislocate my shoulder again. I was like telling everybody Should that I was walking up to it. Bro. Yeah. yeah you can't, it's been worse your tabor or labrum never goes, it never refuses because yeah. It's like you have to have surgery for it to completely ever heal, but obviously you can re-strengthen it and it restrength like it'll the muscles around it you can do. Yeah, yeah. So if every really every chest workout like today when we were doing shoulders, like pressing movements, that shit that shit sucks. I feel yeah. like it's so crazy because like I don't know if you have this, but like for example, when you were like worried about it stopping like your YouTube career, mm-hmm. like how many moments have you had of that? Like I feel like that's happened to me so many times because I remember when Mikey. Fucked up his peck when we were first supposed to come oh, see Oh, yeah, you. I remember that. And it yeah. delayed it like a whole month. I was so worried, like, that we were gonna, that yeah. we just, it was over for us, bro. I'm so, like, blessed but, that like, I had. Now that we're here, it's like I look back and I remember how worried I was, and I was just like, yeah. I was freaking out. Because that was like I a prime was, time moment yeah. for you guys. Yeah. You gotta even look at that now. Like, we, we've talked again, like, uh, behind the camera about how, like, you guys getting into, like, powerlifting really, really heavy or, like, you got to be like understand like if you want to make a career career out of this, it's definitely going to be more on the business YouTube side of things versus making money as competitive powerlifter. You're not going to make as much money. Yeah. So right. to make sure you like protect your body and like figure out what's that's, the priority right now. That's the main thing is me and Christian have no like I'm we train hard and our worth work ethic has always been good, but we only lifted because we wanted to be strong as shit for football, and we obviously love the gym like our entire lives, <laughs> literally until a year ago. Yeah. So we really don't know. Uh, much about bodybuilding training or powerlifting training so like when people ask us for like a program i'm like bro i don't even you know you just, i just yeah. go in the gym i just like after going to the gym for so long i just you have an idea what, what you like yeah. and stuff like that yeah. i can tell i'm kind of like the same way i train off instinct a lot i yeah. used to be on like program based but i kind of go for what feels good like today like that like foc7 was just random i was like yo let's just like try bro, we gotta run like that up it's that's the best way to train you don't get bored and then yeah, you just fun. like even um, if there's no science behind it's fun. Yeah, yeah. I, f- I want to add in like that that it's called C7. 
FSD sevens, Basha FSD. stretch training from Hani Rambod. I fucked with that, and I, I also like Bulgarian. We were talking about it too. The Bulgarian method, just PRing on like yeah, one, one exercise, like yeah. every workout, you just pick something to like PR, whether it's reps or like weight. mat weight, you know, yeah. weight max. That's like, a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get better with that too. As I start to like you, you got. I mean, as you go to cut, you want to try to maintain as much strength as you can to yeah. maintain the mass. That's how you make. That's how you maintain your muscle is by maintaining your strength. Because if you can, if you know your strength on a normal exercise, and you like you you see it diminishing, you can try and pull it back. You know, but like yeah. if you're just cutting and you're not focusing on like your strength as well, you really don't know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's facts. Um, so another thing I wanted to talk about, which I think we might make a YouTube video on this week, is we might be getting invaded um, from, I, I don't know <laughs> if it's extraterrestrial, I don't know if it's if yeah. it's China, <laughs> if it's Russia. So like you guys saw probably like the balloon got shot down and like China said it was theirs. There's been four more since then that have been shot down, one in Canada, one in Alaska, the, obviously the one in Myrtle Beach, the one Michigan. there's like one in Michigan. Yeah, yeah like Michigan. Huron, bro, that's where right where we live. Like yeah, we it's don't, crazy. We don't left that joint. So it's like, what, yeah. what do you, what do you guys think? We talked a little bit about it. We'll explain like what you guys think it is, and then I'll go. Bro, I f- fucking don't know. It sounds like some alien shit to me, bro. Some extraterrestrial shit, I, I feel or like a distraction from the government to distract us from, from something else. Yeah, like it's there's always yeah. a ploy. Like, do think about how like I, I feel. I always feel like people forget that the government is filled with like normal people, like. Everybody in their own lives have, like, their alternative agenda that they yeah. try and, like, push on other people. Like, even if it's, like, little shit, like, going to get somebody to, like, grab you something, like, for example, or something. What the fuck are you talking about, I'm man? just saying, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm, saying, I'm saying that the government is the same uh, way in a larger scale. Like, they have an ulterior motive that you're, they're yeah. trying to Bro, push. their ulterior motive is money. They want money. <laughs> they want to control they want and power get, they want money. money. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. So, people don't understand, like, shit like this. It could be the government, like easily, like. Bro, I heard it was because the Epstein files were came out this week. We're getting leaked, yeah, or not leaked, but they're like coming open about like the people involved in that or something. And then every time like something huge happens, like it is a cool. That's weird. There's so another like something you know like covering it up. What what Ethan said was was like an interesting idea that the it could be the government trying to fuel us up to be ready to go to war. So like let's say for example like you know conspiracy people who say like. Oh, like 9-11 was planned. Like, that did get America, like, amped up to want to go to war. Yeah. So, it is, there is an incentive there for the government to do something like that because it gets the gov- the whole world and our, in our country on that side. So, if American citizens see, like, you know, China's not respecting us, they're starting to put, you know, spy stuff in our states and, like, yeah. in our airspace, and then we're having to, like, defend it, it's going to make more Americans more prone to being, like, yo, like... Like let's go to war if we have to, and he's like, so like Shit. him bringing up that was a good idea, but I do, I do, I don't know, it could be some like civilization that was living inside like the Arctic Circle or bro, something that we don't know about. Bro, we're soft, we're a soft ass civilization because we got we worrying about Hogwarts legacy, getting fucking <laughs> like what getting the canceled? fuck is that? That's it's so a crazy, video right? game, bro. That's yeah. still that's crazy. Wild. Bro. That's it, actually insane. how's a video game transphobic? It has nothing to do with the original author. It's yeah. fucking its own video game, bro. I'm playing that shit. Yeah, no, me yeah, too. Like you're gonna you're gonna like go cancel like the, like a 12 year old kid wanting yeah. to go play like Harry Potter, like his favorite yeah. movie series. I'm gonna ever cadaver the fuck out of those motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Uno reverse card, fuck you. I don't it, care, bro. It, do, it does look like a good game. I don't know why people. I mean, I wish they had if it, had, in if it, it yeah, if it had multiplayer, bro. They're working on mods right now on the PC version, try to add multiplayer into it. That'd which, be insane. Which would be good. But yeah, the cancel culture is insane. It's Dude. so insane. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It's pretty Dude, insane. Crimes Mikey, against humanity that would Mikey. happen if they had a multiplayer in yeah. that game, bro. <laughs> like, surprised Mikey hasn't got canceled, man. Or you us in general. I mean, you, uh, you can't, if you don't give a shit, like, you really can't. And, like, That's the you, thing is, like, yeah. A lot of people think it's, a lot of people agree with this and think a lot of that shit is bullshit. Like, it's it's so dumb and, like, there's there's... A lot of people, it's just, it's a silent majority. Like, you ever hear about yeah, that? Yeah. People are afraid to speak up because they're afraid of being canceled for trying to support someone who's not afraid of being canceled. Bro, you're yeah. absolutely right. You know what I mean? It's so like, like that mob theory, like, people will say anything, do anything. It's the same thing with the internet. People will say anything that comes to their mind because they're behind a screen. Same thing with a mob. is like, if you're in a mob, you'll say some shit that you normally wouldn't say if it was just you. Yeah. But a lot of people, too, bro, like, they, they ride because they like getting views or they want to seem, like, praised, so like... Let's say, like, somebody who doesn't even really care about, like, LGBTQ stuff or, or promoting it, but they see that that's trending, basically saying, like, oh, cancel people who support uh, the Harry Potter shit. Yeah. Yeah. And then they go along and see that, and they're like, oh, I, maybe I can make a video about this, like, saying, oh, yeah, let's also cancel, like, Hogwarts Legacy, and they'll, they'll praise <laughs> me for it. They'll be like, oh, WW. Right. Like, I hate how people, like, 
they go out of their way almost to they do it because they want to get praised or looked at as being a, a dope person. Even they really don't give a shit about it. They could care less whether or not that's like a thing in the game. Yeah. But. <sighs> Absolute clout. Lightning strike in Brazil. Another thing. So this is why I think we're coming with like the end times, low key. Which is like we had tr- we went to church. Oh, there's today. so much shit. Like yeah, the the Brazil Tower. You know what I'm talking about? The yeah, Brazil. And the lightning sh- lightning struck it. The lightning it's like struck a thing it. of Jesus that overlooks like all of Brazil. No like, way. There's a picture me, of lightning. No struck. way. Let me yeah. find it, bro. I seen the. It looks absolutely. We'll have to have the editor hopefully pop up a picture. It looks. Will Smith posted about it. Yeah. No way. I it, it said looks it. insane. I don't know if it's like a sign, if it's a good thing, if it's a bad thing. Like in the picture, they got the pic. This is this it? Yeah. Yeah. And That's then read crazy. read what it says. And is it destroyed? No, I don't think it's destroyed. Oh, it's, it's what's I don't even know what it's made out of. I don't know if you could even if it, it like lightning would be attracted to something like that. I don't know, bro. It says the his uh this is Palms ninety seven four. His Psalms. lightning Psalms ninety seven four. <laughs> his lightning lights up the world and the earth sees and trembles. That's and then crazy. another one says um, oh, that was loading. It very well could be happening. I th- it might be, yeah. It could be happening yeah. soon. And it's, Bro. like, scary. Like, it says, like, it says in the Bible, like, the verse on the, uh, like, the watchman, meaning, like, I forgot exactly how the, how the, how the verse goes, but it says, like, basically, you, you never know when it's going to happen. Like, nobody knows but God himself when it's going to happen, but to always be on the watch because you never know. It, it was about the master, whatever. Like, a servant was supposed to have a lantern in front of the house and wait for the master to return. Um, and they didn't know when the master was going to return, but they, it was something like that. But um, they had to always be on the watch waiting for him to return. Because if they, if they weren't, they got, like, lazy, went to sleep, and they were caught lacking, then you're screwed, and you're not going to... That's like an yeah. analogy saying, like, if you are caught lacking when, when Jesus returns, are you going to go to heaven, be yeah. with him? Probably not. I feel like TikTok is, like... This, <clears throat> TikTok in itself, like, is this huge platform. Like, there's so much shit that's leaked on there. Like, I don't even know. I feel like I see the biggest news on there consistently. Like, I don't feel like that's ever been a thing. Like, TikTok is huge, bro. Like, if you really yeah. think about it... As far as an app, like I seen Argentina, like all the be- the whole shore is washed up with thousands of fish. Oh, the bro. dead fish! Just shit yeah, you don't hear about. Nor- fish. There's no birds eating the fish. Like there's, they're saying the cows died. It's like, like in a in lot Ar- of this shit Argentina, is in the, bro, on the in the scriptures, bro. On the coast, crazy, like that's like, crazy. Like a bunch of yeah. white fish, like thousands just. They had that up. thing happen in uh, Utah knowledge. with like a tr- like or no Ohio with the train blowing up. I didn't even hear about that. What happened? Yeah, it was like a train wrecked and like blew up all this like weird like biohazard waste stuff. And they're trying to see like the air quality is fine, but it's definitely not. It's just a bunch of weird shit going on at once. Some, wait, some Chernobyl it's shit been like that Ohio. since <laughs> for like Ohio. <laughs> it's Damn, been like that for a while, bro. Like it's I don't weird. know. I feel like ever since twenty twenty, like yeah. shit's really been going downhill. Yes. Like in terms of like th- things don't make sense anymore. Like the whole way society is is shifting. It's, it just doesn't make sense, and it's like it's low key scary. But a, as a Christian, like you learn to have hope and to not fear things like that because you know that you're gonna be fine no matter what, as long as like, yeah. like Perfect it just sucks, bro. Fear. It just sucks, you know. Like I don't want to. I don't want to wake up and hear about fucking a whole society just being drunk. Like, yeah, like, what if happens if there's a draft, bro? Like, that's gonna be insane. Like, I feel like we just gonna wake up one day and like our lives are are changed. Like, oh shit! Yeah, I, I hope a invaded. civil war happens, bro. Like a I civil hope, war. Why would you want a civil or not war? a civil or like some type of like enemies invade like type like. Red Dawn. We're talking shit. about Red Dawn. Yeah, like I hope <laughs> that bro, will be kind of lit. Like it'd we, be lit, but it's not man. lit, obviously. But like it. it if I knew I wasn't going to die from it, like it might be kind of lit to like, it's like playing in a video game almost. Like you look out this window, you see bro, we are, dudes parachuting yep, down here and we got to go grab the brick. The thing bro. is like enemies, <laughs> enemies on the computer. We got this house in fucking Ellicott city. It's fucking, <laughs> it, they're, tor- they're up in there. Fucking, it's a mini militia. They got guns and shit. <laughs> I we'd have to go to target the this house, like drop a bomb on this bitch. Yeah. Like we just get bombed or we'd something. We'd have to go to the farm. We have yeah. a farm with like 300 acres. We'd have to like full send it like Mach 1 speed to the farm. And <laughs> Bro, we'd have to build <laughs> underground <laughs> Mach 1 speed like to the some farm. Guerrilla warfare shit. Yeah. We gotta be on some Punisher shit, like missile. rig the whole tree line like with fucking traps. Facts, like, <laughs> like cams everywhere. Yeah. Like, uh, we'd have to go like raid gas stations and stores and get hella food. It'd be yeah. like Walking Dead mixed with like Red Dawn. It'd be kind of crazy. Walking Dead would be the easiest shit to survive, bro. It really would. How do you I, die in The Walking Dead? Honestly, like I don't know, bro. I feel yeah, like my honestly, mission would be slow, right? They're yeah, like they're slow yeah. as shit, bro. My mission would be to exterminate all of them fuckers, kill them all, like fucking make sure none of them exist and repopulate the planet. Like I didn't get like how like in The Walking Dead, like 
I don't get how you can't contain like an outbreak unless like unless it's like you're able to get it from like airborne stuff. But if it only is transferable through a bite, there's no way you can't eradicate that. Just don't get near it, bro. And like, yeah, how do you lose like technology? Is... Like, how do you lose like electricity and technology by that? I don't get it, bro. If, they, if, if that probably... some shit like that happened, they nuke in the damn city, bro. Like it's yeah, the whole city's rats. getting nuked. They're not letting that shit spread. Like imagine that happen. Yeah, like, last... you're like you're actually like fine. You haven't been infected yet, and you hear your city's getting fucking nuked, and there's the no... you're like oh, for the better. Of you society, like your your whole city is getting nuked. You're done for. One person probably infected. give you like a warning, and you have to like dip. Like, yeah, maybe give you, like a few hours to. Oh, they definitely. They wouldn't even risk that like, shit, bro. They really wouldn't. If you, you think the government the is going to risk that shit, uh, them zombies are crazy. It's like nah, it's like bro. the temperature, like global warming, caused like fungi to evolve. I remember watching that. I see yeah, parts of that, and so they're able to like whatever take over humans or whatever. In the, they were faster just, though, right? Like, they yeah, were like, no, oh, there's some menaces, bro. If you yeah. step on a fungi like on the ground, it alerts the zombies from like miles away, like up to like three miles <laughs> away. <laughs> that like, point, you're bro, fucked. Yeah. See, that's a little more different than the Walking Dead, yeah, and they're that's all like, connected. Like all of they're them, they're fucking are connected, disgusting, like, bro. The fungi coming out of their mouth, like how? But anyways, even that, bro. I feel like the the military could like. And nah, bro. Shit, bro. Like, Them yeah. fuckers are different, bro. Yeah. They're crawling over each other, crawling on walls. Oh, and they mutate, bro, after, like, years and shit. There's, like, like bloaters, bro. World like, War Z big. zombies are kind of cracked. They oh, are they're fast. If this is World you're War Z they're zombies, fast. you're done. You're Humans are done. They're done for, bro. Like, unless unless they we can... went over that wall in Israel oh, or whatever. Oh, you're fucking done, dude. They're, they're a different breed. Yeah, that was a little crazy. How... I mean, I don't even... How did it... Does, how did they do... Like... Get that much stronger and more powerful from a fucking disease. Like, I, I think about it like how like monkeys or whatever are, like stupid strong. You yeah. know what I mean? Maybe we have like some unlock like unlocked potential in our DNA that like that would that would just unlock and then Bro, we just become. That units. makes no like, sense. How a fucking chimp is stronger than a human, yet they're smaller than us. Yeah, I don't get it either. Answer like. I don't think we're related times to them. I don't believe, I don't believe in uh, macro evolution. There's like whenever I debate like atheists, that is basically I think it's it's four. I'm pretty sure it's five. Different types of evolution. So when I say I don't, I don't believe in evolution. I don't believe in macro evolution. Macro evolution is going from one type of uh, what is it called, like one um, animal or whatever, to another. Yeah. So saying like that we evolved from like fish in the sea, you came on a land into a frog, somehow came into a monkey, and then came to us. I don't believe in that. I believe in I believe in micro evolution, like uh, small adaptations. For example, Darwin's finches, like adapting and yeah. like small, very yeah. small things. So, like you can even look in, in humans, like. Um, like people in certain parts of Africa, like those guys who are really good at uh, running in the Olympics, they have like certain things in their DNA that will literally allow them to be like that mm-hmm. compared to somebody who grew up on the East Coast, like in Maryland or yeah, something. Yeah, I didn't get I mean? the fucking update. That's, that's I mean, micro. Av- yeah, facts. I didn't get the update. Mikey's <laughs> a barbarian, Iowa, Stone bro. Age, bro. He's from the Stone Age. I'm I'm I, I'd like evolved to like fucking like heavy strong, shit up, though. bro. Yeah. You know? But yeah, I always try to tell people that. Like, I don't believe in evolution. I believe in... I believe in micro and there's some other forms of evolution that are explainable and like make sense that are science back. I don't believe macro evolution science based. We were just like one day we were fucking monkeys and then like <laughs> thousand years later. Why didn't the rest of the other yeah, monkeys? Yeah, what happened to the, yeah, they, they missed they the evolve? software update like, type. Yeah. yeah, like <laughs> they actually yeah, why they they still down bad, bro. <laughs> they still down bad. Yeah. They actually yeah. missed the update for real. Like, they in the trenches. <laughs> you ever see the, the like Joe, the TikToks of like the people who actually look like they missed the updates? Like, Oh, like the Neanderthal yeah, like looking ne- people. Yeah, like they're actually ne- living Neanderthals. That's yeah, crazy. Like, how do you? How does that happen, bro? Like interbreeding. I like I, it's got to be that because I've seen like some like people. In, I think it's like West Virginia. There's like a family that got documented like inbred like, and they they look like if Nugget became a human, it'd be like that. <laughs> like bro, like, I don't they laugh, don't. They don't even. They, it's, they, they don't even speak themselves. English, bro. They just make noises. They make yeah. like straight up. It's weird, bro. It's like a family in West Virginia. They all like inter. You know. That's Whoa. fucking disgusting, bro. Yeah, I ain't gonna no, lie. That's, that's crazy. You ever you ever hear about? Uh, I think it's like called the uh, Sentinel Islands. It's like a civilization that's never been touched by like bro, outside humans. Bro, that's gotta humans. be cat, bro. I seen no that video, way, and they get killed if you go there. Like they'll literally I kill seen you. A video. You think America is, it knows bro. about the island and not, they're not invading that shit? Hell, if there's no, oil. Bro. They're invading it. Oh yeah, no, they're probably. Sure. Bro, I seen a video of a white dude going on the island, and they like grabbed him, and they were like bringing him to their village and shit. And he he was on it. He had the GoPro and shit. Like they were pointing at him. That shit's fake, bro. Well, no you ever watch? You ever watch the movie Green Inferno? No, what is Excuse it about? Me. I've never watched it because of how nasty. I watched the trailer. My uh, pastor was saying it's like the scariest movie you ever watched. So I looked up the trailer with Abby, and it's the nastiest, most gruesome. Like it's like they. Uh, these guys get captured from like a like one of those type of cannibal like tribes, 
and it's like some nasty. Oh. But there's crazy. Like, there are people who do that. There's a there's a game we should play. It's called I think it's called Green Hell. It's like a survival game. Mm-hmm. Um, it's almost like Minecraft mixed in with like cannibalism, and like these guys are trying to like attack you and your friends as you try to like build defenses and stuff. It's kind of sick. We what should play. I think fun? I think we'd have fun with it. It'd be dope. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. There's still civilizations like that <coughs> who like oh, shit. have not been like you, you. You even look like the Amazon rainforest. How big it is, like yeah. on the map. Like and there's we haven't went in even half of it. Like yeah, it's crazy that a lot of it has been destroyed too. Imagine though. you're just exploring that shit and you get pulled up by, pulled up on by a cannibalistic tribe. Like yeah. that shit's crazy. Yeah, yo. they're ripping off your limbs <laughs> while you're alive. Like that's it's just, crazy yeah, how like that one. how humans have destroyed a lot of the planet though. If you think about it, like. I've seen, like, <clears throat> it's called the Holocaust Extinction. And that shit, it's like 50% of all species. 50% of all species have, like, gone extinct since the last extinction. Like, and it's, call, it's caused by humans. It's called the Holocaust Extinction. I did, like, a whole research paper on it. Yeah, <laughs> dummy, back when it was... Yeah, junior, smart, junior, yeah, junior year smart. in college, I did a whole... It was, like, my best research paper ever. I had to do one on black holes, and that shit was unreal. That stuff's crazy. You ever watch Interstellar? Yeah. That Interstellar is insane, yeah. That is a crazy, like, mind, like, when you think about it, like, the like the one where the one on the planet where, like, time went faster mm-hmm. on Earth. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what? And what's crazy is when you think about it, like, if you look at a star that's, like, 100,000 light years away, you're looking at that star 100,000 years ago. Yeah. So, like, if someone, like, looked at, a t- at, a, at Earth through a telescope and they were, like, 10,000 years, light years away, they'd be looking at earth 10,000 years ago yeah which yeah. is crazy to it's me like a, i just don't get like it's just how particles move like the speed of light is the fastest thing that's so, so like, weird to think about it's just the way particles um hit your eye i guess oh uh, sure. yeah i just don't care like when you try to like <laughs> like understand the infinite i told you a, we shouldn't have ran the pot i'm tired as fuck that was, that was a good one that was yeah. good. You're, 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 you honestly might be related to albert einstein you kind of like got the same hair as i'm low-key yeah, I don't, I'm pop. not taking that as a compliment. <laughs> not taking that as a compliment. Hey, he was low-key. Ha- he was slept on, bro. Albert was low-key handsome, bro. You ever hear about the, um, you know, so you know, like, Nikola Tesla? You ever heard of Nikolai yeah. Tesla or whatever? Yeah. And he, Apparently, he was, like, killed. He's the explorer. Yeah, he made, like, uh, some... He did, uh, he did like, techno- or energy. like Free a, energy, like yeah. A free energy source. And I, I heard that because they were making so much money off, like, gas stuff, that yeah. he got, like, murked. Hell and yeah, then some bro. other guy recently found, like, a hydrogen-powered car that was, like... yeah. And that he also went missing. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Bro, there I am like scared to see what's who's pulling the strings behind everything. Like there is this Illuminati, whatever you call there is a secret organization one hundred fucking percent. Like the New bro. World Order. Yeah, one hundred percent. I, I kind of believe in it too. It's like scary, but I still believe God is in control at the end of the day. But I do believe there's a lot of you know, if if you're gonna have God, there's gonna be something the polar opposite of God, because God's so pure, good, and holy. There's got to be something opposite, which can make the devil and his associates. Bro, bro, one like third that. of the angels from heaven, he turned them. Imagine what he's gonna do to Earth, bro. Yeah. You Could you imagine I mean? like a like a like a heavenly war? Like how like I've seen like pictures and paintings like artists have made of it, like like the archangels fighting like demons and stuff. It's like, kind of like, they, 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 in the Bible they that, said honestly. like the demons that would, would, come, ass enemy. would come to the surface or some shit like and they would fucking kill everybody. Yeah, talk, I mean, everybody it talks about like left fallen behind. angels. There's there's actually we should watch like a YouTube video on it. It's called the Book of Enoch. It's like not technically in the Bible, but they say that it's like historical text. Um, because Enoch was he was like a prophet of God. He, he was claimed that not even have died. Him and Elijah, were the only two people in the Bible who were claimed to be risen to heaven and never like suffered a human death. Um, but he talks, he's got to talk like the Nephilim, like the giants, like the fallen angels basically turning into like in mating with humans and creating like the giants and like that stuff's like, it's like Bible lore almost. It's, it's like literally the lore. Bible it's is like insane, interesting. bro. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. It's like Lord, I wonder where like, to, like you I always think too, like where ancient cultures, like you look at like ancient, um, China and how they came up with like the dragons and stories. Yeah. Like they had to have had like a, something to get that, get that off of. And I always think that it's like maybe in the past. Fallen angels doing stuff or whatever. Like, there's always these mystical creatures. It's like, where did you come up with that idea? Like, there had like, to be something no to base it off of. You brought that shit out of thin <laughs> air. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the Chinese New dragons. Year is literally based around the red dragon. Like, it's <laughs> crazy. I mean, if there was dragons, so that'd be actually insane. Yeah, it would. Be, I would like, tame them. I would turn yeah. into a shardy from the um, <laughs> my fucking um, what is it? Uh, what's her name? The princess that she can control dragons. Uh, oh, 
Did you watch House of the Dragons? I no, didn't watch House it of yet. The Dragons. We, you didn't watch it? No, no, yeah. You should watch it. Well, I've never even watched watch the... What's it called? The series? Game of Thrones. Yeah, I've never I didn't watch all of it. I did like five seasons. I want to watch what? it. You finished it? Yeah. It's really? Good. It's good. Dang, I John Snow's the, the goat, bro. <laughs> I want to see it, bro. Wasn't well, the other one a prequel, though? Good, it's a yeah. prequel. So you technically yeah, like could. The House of Dragons is yeah, a prequel? Yeah, it's a prequel. Let's watch bro, that. there's so much incest in that shit, bro. Games of Thrones. I love lore like that. Like it's Lord of the Rings. Like no, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> there is hella nude scenes in it, bro. I see it all yeah, yeah, bro. It's, but it's, I, I like I like lore that's like Dungeons and Dragons type vibe. Yeah. Fantasy, like we should go yeah, LARPing. No, like genuinely, shit. genuinely we should I go LARPing. I would go LARPing, bro. I would fuck some shit up in LARPing. I would yeah. literally turn into Witcher, bro. Geralt. Like, you said you would, you would do axe. <laughs> I would do like double axes or like maybe one big one. Like a berserker. Oh, I'm like taking like that light big sword. Like hero building. It's like... Chop, like, I'm yeah. slicing, bro. I'm like, I would, I would be like, a, like a sword and shield. I feel like a paladin build. Yeah, type vibe. Nice. But I get like a small shield. I want to go like, I want like an agile. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You ever play For Honor? Yeah, For bro. Honor it's hard. Sweet, it's yeah. so, it's so hard, hard, but it's such a cool concept. It is. Imagine they made a Star Wars game based off of For Honor mechanics yeah, with lightsabers. Crazy, bro. They need. Yeah, it was, it bro. Was like, they could have so many <sighs> good Star Wars games, but like. And series, like animes. And like movies. They man. just miss out on the opportunity. I feel like it's just... I don't get it. They Disney cater to Disney, yeah, Disney, Disney, bro. Disney soul. They cater to too many young bulls yeah. now. It's yeah. like... But I, I am excited They'd for They'd rather make fucking toys world. and fucking plush toys of fucking Star Wars and actual Yoda. cool shit to I build like onto Yoda. the Star Wars story. Like <laughs> That's true. I wonder go what they're going to do for the, like, the new fran- like the new uh, trilogy. Bro, I want to see like... Isn't there like Some old Republic shit, bro. That, yeah, the that, Old Republic? Yeah, that Old Republic game back in the day used to hit different, bro. Yeah, it's so annoying, that, like, the ways, like, even, with, like, the ways of potential with Battlefront. Like, yeah. Battlefront 1 was so ahead of its time. It was amazing, Like, bro. I don't get how, I think it's EA and DICE or whatever who, like, they, like, EA is a terrible, shittiest company ever. Their They're so, so bad. They ruined, They're like, sellers. They even sell Battlefront out. 2, like, they, they, they missed out on so much. They could have made, like, those games oh, are good. The, bro, the, we remember, have to start uh, playing. Do you remember the original Star Wars? Battlefront 2. Oh, gee. When that you, was bro, the, literally the best that one Xbox was amazing, game. When they bro. dropped the new second one, I was like, why can't... like They need to add the space missions where like you could go into the yes, enemy bro. ship yeah, and yes, blow it bro. up from the dope. inside. Yeah, that was hard. Dude, that was so ahead of its time, man. What was that, that was one so, game mode? You could like... You, bro, that shit was lit. Yeah, you picked... Or, there was that one game mode you picked like a planet to start off on. You had to conquer yeah. the whole solar system. And like there was like That's, round yeah, wars. Why was like, it more lit back then? Like they could have done, bro. Like the, it seems like so everything nowadays is like it's so fucking overpriced and it's way shittier. It's based on a yeah. battle pass. That's and facts. Fucking bullshit. Bro, everything Seasons like and shit. Like fuck, man. It's, like it's like the, we're they're going releasing backwards. half games, bro. The really yeah, yeah, like Battlefront, fucking, like twenty forty two. Like yeah. how do you hype that game up so much? Oh my God. And it's like literally uh, like fifty percent finished when you drop it. Like bro. how do you go back? You're paying ten dollars more now. Yeah, games are seventy dollars instead of sixty yeah. now, and then yeah. and they're shittier. <laughs> Halo it's, Infinite. That shit, they, it was a beta when they dropped it. The game still hasn't left the beta phase. It's still a fucking beta a whole year later, dude. I don't get it. I don't understand. Like, like it's like, since ever since COVID, everybody just wanted to be lazy. It's like, yeah. they just want to blame, like, Devs are oh, just, we're still in just COVID. lazy like, cunts, bro. It's so, it's, it triggers me. I'm like, bro, you're ruining, you're ruining gaming. It's like, people, all, people still play, like, freaking Fortnite. Like, I mean, Rainbow is a good game, but it was probably because it was made before 2020. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, that's probably Even why now, it's so I didn't want to understand how Fortnite, Rainbow, like, Rainbow. Fortnite is so, like, it's literally changed kids' lives, bro. Like, yeah, I don't even know how to explain Peak it. Like, Fortnite the younger generation, born. like, yeah. Bro, you stayed home to play Fortnite instead of going to a trip to New York. Yeah, yeah that was when it was a good really? game, though. That oh, shit was, Fortnite was, was the was best time all, was Oh, like, my God. It was one of the best, like, I'm, I remember, yeah, I remember I was just going into college and I like, I remember I changed my classes to make sure they were like the later ones, like 11 to yeah, 12 a.m. or p.m. When, is when they would start. So I could sleep in and play all night, just yeah. like grinding the new <laughs> battle pass. I got the black knight, bro. I got the black I did too. I got yeah, that too. That's hardest oh, yeah. skin we could probably game. sell that. Probably that's, sell I'm going to sell my shit. Bro. Yeah. Selling Fortnite. Pa- or Fortnite's you know what the best knight, time was, bro? When you, like, when fucking um, Warzone, the first Warzone dropped and we didn't know how bro. bad COVID was. Like we thought we were just getting like a week yeah. off, two weeks off, and everybody was on Warzone, bro. It was I like was going the to Chick Fil A every single day, getting a thirty count of nuggets during COVID because <laughs> I I needed to feel like I could go out of my house. Like I needed yeah. to like drive, so I looked forward to just drive and go get like coffee and, and like nuggets. Like every how do, day. they were open, bro? I, I don't even remember. Chick Fil A was open. For I would drive every going. night. I would go on a drive. I felt like it was Armageddon, bro, when COVID was going on. Like I don't even know. It was so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think the Should world has recovered same, ever bro. since, bro. No, it's weird. I can't believe that they were able to control like society like that, like through the fear. Like mm-hmm. I, 
I don't know, like, because you got, it's, this is what's up. I got to be afraid about being canceled, even just saying, like, my opinion on the subject. Yeah. That's what's so annoying, bro. Like, I, I miss, like, when five, ten years ago, you could say whatever you want, like, you're chilling. Like, you don't mm-hmm. have to get canceled. But, like, I I do believe a big part of it was a fear tactic. I, I understand that a lot of people may have died to COVID or complications around it. But the data was heavily skewed to make people more afraid of it than it actually was. Bro, there was, d- okay, so the Pfizer executive said the most effed up shit. I forgot what he said, but it was, I seen a TikTok, it was not it was covered. Sa- they said the vaccine was that it was more profitable if they kept, like, creating strands and shit. So they kept creating strands of COVID. Yeah, because I kept hearing all this new, yeah. like, no, I've had it, it like, that, three times. That's what it was, It was some bro. crazy shit, bro. And it was not covered on one media station, bro. That's that's just what you got to think about, bro, because... I can't believe the media, bro. It's so sad. It's crazy. Everyone has an agenda, bro. Like, the yeah. news stations, yeah. Like, my dad be watching that shit and, like... I ask him about like if he's heard about this or not, and he's like, "No, like yeah, if you don't hear it on like, if you don't hear it on Fox News, it's not real." Like that's my that's my dad. Like, what what? News my dad, my dad from, is son? like heavily influenced from the media, though. Like I'm not gonna like my but, like, dad that's was how speaking the older over generation COVID. Is. Every yeah, time I came home from LA, exactly. my dad would quarantine me. For that's two why weeks. I had to get yeah. the. That's why I had to get the COVID shots because my dad wouldn't let me fucking. He's literally gonna. They were really? gonna kick us out. The logic yeah. behind it, like they're old though. They're old. Like there's that's the older generation that they don't know that you can. There's other platforms out there that aren't fucking controlled by the government. Like, Yeah, they don't get it. We, we grew up seeing it happen, so now we're more aware of it. Mm. But I didn't get like how on the airplanes, bro, I get so pissed and they made me have my mask on, on the airplane. I'm like, I'm like, I don't understand why I have to have my mask on the airplane. Like, we're all in this like tube together. Like, if somebody like, bro, I'd get so tight. Like, I don't, I, I, I never, but then like at church or, or, at, or like diners and stuff. You could, ha- like, not have the mask on when you're, like, moving, like, into the restaurant. But that was, like, when you got seated, you had to put the mask on. And I'm like... What the hell? What is the... I never understood, like, the, the concept like how of, good like, how good are the masks? And like they would how separate good? how far you had to be for yeah. someone at a table. But then on the plane, I'm, like, right next to the person. But I'm allowed to be right next to a person and just a ma- mask. I, don't, I never got it, bro. I never understood it. It was just... I don't even understand how well the masks work. In I general. got that shit three times. Me too. I've had it a lot. Yeah, no. Man. It, the first two didn't... I feel like the, really I've, ne- I've never Certainly been the same different. since I got the vaccine. My first one was terrible, oh, COVID. Bro, when I got the, I still haven't been able to smell. My sinuses are fucked up from really. The I just vaccine. feel like congested yeah. all the time ever since I got it. Like I'm not I even wish kidding. I never had like I've it, been bro. tracking yeah. it since I got it. Like I know, like I just, I just know. Bro, ever we since didn't even I got get it, the fuck me up. Because when you get it, you get sick from it like immediately. Like I yeah. remember just being down bad in my bed. Like, like. I regret the Did fuck you get out the of vaccine? this. I can't believe I got this. You're lucky, bro. Yeah. You're fucking lucky. And I feel like I, that congestion I had the night after I got it, got the vaccine, and how I felt, like, sometimes I still feel that shit. Like, I yeah. still feel congested We had to get like it, too, that. for football, because if you... You, you couldn't you, travel with the team. If yeah, you, you couldn't know. travel. One, one thing I, I hate, though, about, again, this, this again, is, like, they were forcing and pushing the vaccine and, like, quarantining and all this shit, but they would never force, and, like, you'll never see America force, like a healthy lifestyle mm, like no. banning fast food restaurants like mcdonald's or heart like heart disease like the number one killer in the united states but you see yeah, the government profitable. taking zero a- yeah exactly it's profitable that's why they don't take any action against it but i'm like what's really going to keep somebody healthy taking the vaccine for it or actually living a very fit healthy lifestyle having your cardiovascular system up to date taking all your vitamins your minerals yeah. what's going to help you probably fight fight the vaccine more fight any cold for that matter when i start feeling sick I start dogging the immunity shots, vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, all that. I try to be smart about it. Still doing my cardio even when I am feeling a little bit sick. Like, that's what they don't teach you. They teach you to, like, sit in bed, just, like, act like you're dead, and then, like, you're supposed to... Take some NyQuil. Bro, I had a fever, and I was still going to the gym, bro. I was like, fuck it. I don't know, bro. I just... I hate how, like, the, the logic in, like... How that system works is is like insane, bro. It's infuriating. One thing I saw was pissing me off the other day is the like the old Twitter execs executives are getting like tried on yeah, trial seen that. for uh, like basically shutting down Republicans' uh, voices and stuff on COVID on literally anything when they were just relaying what uh, scientists from Harvard and stuff were saying about the virus and the Republican would post about it mm-hmm. like literally with no opinion, just giving the data and they would get uh, blocked. Their accounts would get taken off of Twitter. And they're trying to say how, like, they're getting trouble now for violating free speech amendments. It's crazy that that's proof right there. If you guys, like, don't know what I'm talking about, like, look that up, how they're getting tried right now. They might get, like, get charged and go to yep. jail. They, they should, really bro, were going fuckers. against free speech. Didn't Trump get, like, um... He got banned from uh, TikTok. Twitter. He got banned from everything. Twitter, like, how, bro? It bro, it's crazy. If you think about all these people who got banned 
from like the internet like they're all like influential people for the good of of like the society like yeah as far as like andrew tate like a lot of i don't of think he banned on maybe uh andrew tate he's got banned on uh, what was it he got tate? banned on everything yeah. bro oh yeah you're right, you're right. Which like, is, trump a, got banned on google like he couldn't even like bro yeah, you, you can't the ai programs won't talk about donald trump apparently yeah it's it's so crazy how like how AI you can do programs, but yeah. they acting like bros, fucking Hitler or some shit. Yeah, I don't get it. And it's like regardless if you support like Tate Trump or whatnot, if you're allowed to speak against it, and we truly live in a free country, then you should allow, be allowed to speak for it. That's what I don't get. Like people like think that just their opinion or their side of like this like progressive movement matters, but like yeah, if if someone wants to say they they support Trump or support Tate. They should be allowed to, just as society will accept people hating on Tate or hating on Trump. Yeah. Then you sh- they should also, if you're all loving and acceptable and trying to like be like progressive and love everybody, whatever, then you should still be able to love somebody who's against your own opinion. That goes for everything. It goes exactly. for, for if you're not an LGBTQ supporter, that, go- that goes for literally everything. Or if you're going to like, I see a lot of people bash Christians on their faith or their like things that they believe in. A lot of Christians who may not support like the LGBTQ, it's like hate the, hate the sin, yeah. not the person. But then you'll see LGBTQ people trying to cancel them. Like I saw a person getting baptized and oh. they were getting spray painted on or uh, the yeah, silly yeah. spray for yeah, uh, from LGBTQ fuck, people. Yeah. I'm like, how are you going to, f- it just doesn't make sense. That is crazy, bro. If I ever seen some shit like that happen in front of me, like most oh, yeah. people be recording nowadays. Like when yeah. some shit's happening, they're just on their phone watching from their screen. Nah, I'm putting my phone down. I'm getting active, bro. I'm like, knocking dog I'm out. either, you know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody's getting shot or getting robbed or something, or, or like, s- s- some type of <laughs> form of altercations happening, and I see some injustice, I'm going to step into that motherfucker. I'm going to become a hero. You know, I'm going <laughs> to... Superhero, Mikey. Become a man, bro. Just People are so, like... <sighs> They're know, afraid, bro. bro. Yeah. Everybody's so scared now of, of like, yeah. everything. It's, it's sad. We are a soft society. Like, if we have a draft, we're chalked. Like we're yeah. so screwed, it's not even funny. Like, good luck finding enough people to be able to do that. There's just there's no chance. There's no way in hell that's happening. That Mike's a little limp. Need some Cialis or something. <laughs> I need some Cialis. <laughs> I've never taken it before. I'm I'm gonna buy some. I want a Cialis pump. I want to see when I get leaner. I want to see how how like because Larry, Larry was that, hyping that bro, shit up. He's hyping it. The he's talking up. about it's better than when he was on hella test. Yeah. No like, trend. Yeah, he said, he said better than trend. I was like, crazy. bro, no, you're lying, bro. He's like, nah, so. Ready? Also, we went to we went to church today. How'd you guys like Mosaic? That was, was amazing, awesome, bro. Because we're used to they try and like relate like, everything to like a common a common um like theme in actual like real life. Like, it's not like the, they're not reading from the scripture, like like just reading the Bible all the time. Like they're trying to relate it to like yeah, real moments. He'll, he'll in life. pick he'll pick a section of verses and then find exactly how we can relate it to like your life. Yeah, which bro, I love. I, that th- what he said was um God weeps with you when you have challenges. He's not throwing the challenges at you because he wants to see what's inside of you. He said he already knows what's inside of you, bro. Like he, like the Bible he's with you to take on those yeah, challenges. That, that was deep. Like everybody, a lot of like people who don't believe in like God will always ask like, why is this happening? Why is God not answering my prayers? Why would God do this to me? And it's, it's, he, he weeps for, he's weeping with you. He weeps too. Like the creator of the universe, they were talking about Lazarus and it says that Jesus wept, meaning the, ultimate infinite being of God in his human self wept because he had to become a human to experience every single type of struggle, every single type of emotion that humans had so that he could have a relationship with us. Cause if he was all God, all powerful and couldn't experience this, those things like weeping as a human could, how could we actually have a relationship with him? But because we know mm-hmm. he experienced it too, you can almost find a relationship and you can find peace in that knowing that God also weeps so that when yeah. you're weeping, you know that you're not alone, and you I, know that you have that person with you. One 100%. thing that I never understood was how <clears throat> people who kill themselves, like they they go to hell, they're damned to hell. But they're like, are there's people who kill them? They're like Ill, mentally ill, or like they're so depressed or so fucked up. Like something in life is happening where they feel like they have to take their life. I feel like that shouldn't be a sin because is like, it, I understand is it it's or is it like and, in the yeah, Bible it says like, you're going to hell? Like does it say that? Because God wants you to live the life, live a life. Because your your life is a gift. Yeah, like I remember the the Jonathan pulled up that interview, whatever. Forgot the exact thing he said. It was like by Colbert. I can't remember the guy's name. It was was really good though. It was I forgot what it said. What did he say? It was like he was like life life is is a a gift. gift. Yeah, and that every struggle or or like battle is every. I think you come out because what basically our sermon, our pastor was teaching us is that. A lot of things that happen that that is bad and that are that are really bad, like that you hate, like saying like a bad divorce. Like my family had a very bad divorce, 
but I can see now on the other side of that divorce, I became a, a way better person, more independent, more more motivated than the person I was before that. So he was saying how like you honestly have to look at those struggles and those hard times in your life as a good thing because something is going to come out of it. That is, Bro, you're not going to be the absolutely. same person. Like, I would not be the same person if I wasn't didn't go through this stuff with my my uh, adoption, foster care, and I would not yeah. be here, bro. I would be in Indiana or something. I would be, like, probably a drug, a drug addict or something. Why, why are you... I don't know. I'm just saying I would not Indiana. be... You don't know what you be, bro. Yeah, but I wouldn't be here. Yeah. I wouldn't have had got to live a a, a life, a great life, because our, our parents, our adopted parents, they, they did everything they could to put us on the right path. So... Yeah. Which is good. It's so yeah, crazy so I, to see you, like... Just every... Yeah. How are you seeing like things now coming together, like being here now and since like the last, we were in December, like when we had the first. It's pod, so crazy, bro. A lot of people, like they're saying, like as far as like the commu- the fitness community and shit, like we're the fastest to ever like blow up, like David Laid Not type the fastest, shit. Fastest, but like just fast. Yeah, like yeah, fast, whatever. So I feel like, like a I don't lot know. Of people- I feel like it's surreal. Like I still haven't processed like how fast getting like three hundred fifty k subscribers in like four months is like it's crazy. Like, I don't know. It's pretty it's insane. It's actually insane. It's yeah. actually insane. I remember when I first saw, like, one of your TikToks. It was, like, some shit of Christian curling. It was, like, that was, I think that was, like, one of the first things. That, I can't remember how you guys were following me, and I, I can't remember if you tagged me or something or what, and I followed you guys back, and I was, like, a, I was like I don't know how long ago it was. A year and ago, I, bro. Like, a year and a half, maybe. It was, I don't know. It was yeah, a I, did, I was posting just my own. It was my own TikTok for a while. That's when you followed. It was my own. Yeah, it was just years. Yeah. It's just, I just remember seeing all the time this curling video of you. It was from, like, it was showing that side of your arm, of you, like, doing bicep curls. Your arm, like, too, was just like, holy shit, this guy's yeah. arms are huge. Yeah, I've always had big buys, bro. It's yeah. my claim to fame. Yeah, and it's kind of crazy, though. You guys did blow up like, extremely quick. It's just, it's so dope because you guys are, like, not faking a persona like a lot of influencers will do to blow up. Yeah. Like, you guys are, like, raw and genuine, which is which yeah. is dope. And the it's people so hate on us so much. Like, we're young as hell, bro. We, I'm just trying to... Be myself and do what I love, bro. That's all. That's yeah. probably why we blow. We blown up is because we actually just love the gym, and that's like where our, our it makes it makes it easy to do something that you're passionate about. Yeah. Like so, it's easy to capture it, and like especially when we're you have when there's bros. two of you, bro. Like it just magnifies. Yeah, we're it. just some gym bros. I feel like a lot of people can relate to us, and like it's crazy, bro. Because bodybuilders, excuse me, bodybuilders, powerlifters, they they hate on us because they. We're like strong and shit. We have this big platform, but we're fake bodybuilders, fake powerlifters, because we never entered Don't a competition. Compete. Yeah, that we that's, that's so ridiculous. I've never bro. like officially called myself that, bro. Like, yeah, I like, just yeah, we talked about it in our videos, but dude, that shit is crazy to me. You can just hate on someone for doing something for what they love. You don't have to fucking compete. That's again, our body it's because they're envious. It's, it's because they're jealous. And it's because you're doing something, making a living from it. Yeah. That at, at like twenty years younger than they are. And they're not able to do that. Or they weren't able to. So they want to find a way to shit on you for it to make themselves feel better because they weren't able to do it. It's always a reflection of the heart. Yeah. So Absolutely. I always say, like, feel bad for those people. Yeah. I've, I've never explicitly hated on somebody. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I've never sat there and, like, looked at my thing and been like, the fuck is this? Like, pick nitpicking their shit. Like, yeah. if I don't like it, if I don't, I don't like it. But I'd never, like, sit there and, like, hated them because they're doing something that I don't fucking, like, like yeah. or something. I Bro, don't know. The, man. Um, what was I going to say? But the thing about the, com- the competing part, like we, we didn't compete when we were kids and stuff for bodybuilding because we were so focused on football and like, that's all we wanted to do. So we just went to the gym. I didn't realize that I actually loved the gym more than I loved the football until like we got to college and it was like our third year mm-hmm. and we just, we got our asses kicked every game. And shit. 80 to 0, bro. Yeah. Football game. You wouldn't even know we playing football, bro. We still That's went crazy. to the we still went to the gym. It was the only place that could make me feel better about myself. Like and after the games, we go to the gym and catch a pump. And, and like, I was like, bro, I love this shit more. Yeah. You know? Pushing you heavy like weight. You just it. pushing shit off your chest, all your, your problems. problems yeah. you leave that shit at the door. Yeah. You you shouldn't have to be in the competitive space just to be able to give yourself the title of that. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I hate that like a lot of the old heads would be like, oh, if you haven't competed or gotten your pro car, it's like you don't have the authority to be able to, like, tell somebody how they should lift. Like, that's such bullshit. That's, like, yeah. so far from – that's, like, the whole concept of saying, like, oh, you need to have a bachelor's degree in business in order to teach somebody how to 
go yeah. to business, even though you've never ran Some actual the most business su- in your life. Successful people don't have a fucking degree. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It's facts. You don't. Well, I'm gonna get the, waste. I'm gonna get that pro card either way. I, so. I still want to yeah, be a yeah, legend I mean, in this shit. You yeah, that's. So. A, I mean, it's like a goal though. Yeah. It's like like humans are addicted to progress, and it's always good to have goals that you know that you can attain because it'll motivate you to to move yeah, forward. Bro, so I'm, it's good to have I'm like always that. envisioning what I'm gonna look like, or like. Or what I'm gonna lift in a few months, or but like still, I enjoy the process. Even when I look like shit, or like right now, I'm fuck. I took the bulk way too fucking far, <laughs> way too far. <laughs> like Alex knows and shit. So we're gonna get back in our shit. And uh, it was funny how Chris said in the car like we were leaving the gym, like at the warehouse, and Chris was like, "Mike, you're f- or Mike, you're fat." I yeah, can't. I said, "Mike, it was funny." You're bro. way too fat, buddy. Like I'm fat too, though. I'm so. wide, fuck. <laughs> I'm getting wide my hips, bro. I'm like, fuck this. Because, like, Mikey, when I see him, like, I'd be amazed, bro. I'm like, I'd be amazed as fuck. I'm like, how the fuck is this fucker so big? But lately, it's just been like, damn, this motherfucker is fat. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, that's yeah. when I know. When I'm not amazed by him, I'm like, yo, bro, you got to you gotta dial it back. Far. Yeah. Because, I don't know, Mikey, it, I've never I seen somebody honestly. take off their shirt and, like, when Mikey's, like, lean, but, like, he's jacked. Like, I've never seen somebody... Take off their shirt and like just look like that, bro. Like, bro, I, I fuck it, dude. All I can think about some nights is like, bro, the hecklers. They're like, they think they know what I put in my body. It's so crazy, and like, it almost makes me. I get so much of these comments. It almost makes me believe that I'm not telling the truth, even though yeah. I fucking am. <laughs> like, damn, I feel I'm you like, on that. like yeah, I must bro. have the best genetics ever for bodybuilding, like for gear intake. Like, they think I'm on trend and shit. Like, if I look like this on trend, I'd be pissed, bro. Honestly, yeah. It's like, bro, I literally am so open about what I take. We didn't. I told. I told people I was natty when I was natty. I told them I was unnatural when I was. They just natural. don't want to believe it because because the people who are shitting on you probably are taking like the same amount and they probably look yeah. like shit compared to you. Yeah. So they want to find something to make themselves feel better. Like, so like, oh, they're probably lying, not telling the truth. They're probably taking away more yeah. so I can be okay with my mediocre ass physique. Yeah. That goes for everything. It goes for people trying to say like I'm not like. Now, like, I'm not taking gear. They're, they're like, oh, he's definitely taking gear because it makes me feel better about me being definitely. natural and not looking like that. Exactly. It's a chronic and fucking illness. There man. is, yeah, like, yeah, a baseline is. of data. Like, there really is. But, and, like, every, there's there's so many people taking this it shit. It just comes down There's to always people. outliers and there's always genetics that have are better for certain things. Like, mm-hmm. like it's not like it's something crazy out of this fucking world, honestly. Like, uh, it just everybody's comes down different to people in, not in being accountable ways. for them fucking selves. And they're just going to shit on someone else because instead of shitting on themselves, mm-hmm. they're going to tell themselves that they're taking all this, doing all this, when in reality, they just hate the way they are. They're just not doing anything to fix it. I've never looked at somebody and, like, hated on them. I can't I can't grasp how people do that. Like, I've never had the, like, urge to comment something that when I was, like, just a normal person. Normal, I'm still am, but, like, a normal person, like, yeah. without a platform. And I've never sat there and, like... Scroll down. Oh, this guy all the like picked out all his fucking problems. Like it, it still doesn't register. Like there's really evil people out there, bro. Like there's people that that like yeah. say they fuck me. Like I hope they die. Like I hope they die from taking this and that. Like it's, you, it's, bro, that they don't realize that as a, it's, it's as crazy, like bro. having an internet platform, you get a, yourself in front of millions of people. Like millions of people, like are you're interacting like, with well, more than a normal person. Thirty five. <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah shut up, old man. Shut the it's fuck like, up. It's like, bro, you need Jesus, bro. Yeah, like, 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 Jesus loves you. Yeah, that's the last hate. thing you should be worrying, worrying about, bro. Like, you know, it's yeah. just crazy to see how fucking pretentious and evil people really yeah, are. I always say, like, but there you, are some good people too. If bro. you, if people like shitting like all these like haters, if they were, if they spend as much time watching our content and worrying about what we do on their own life, I guarantee you they would accomplish so much more. Yeah. Like, bro, you're really like. First, you're pushing the algorithm like for us, helping us make more money, helping us become more successful by doing that. Like my shorts have blown up my YouTube like way more in the last. But all eighty percent of the comments are probably negative, talking yeah. mad shit. Like thank you guys, honestly, <laughs> because without you, I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't be having a GT five. You know what I mean? That's yeah, like yeah. that's that's like but the way to get back at them is like showing them the success that they're bringing to the you. The Good thing is though, it's, like it makes with me the bad. With the bad, like, comments, like, it makes the good ones so much more. Like, I genuinely, like, just want to, like, kiss all the, the I beca- good I, comments yeah. on the fall. Fo- I, I want to kiss them more off ost- on the lips. optimistic through doing this shit. The good ones are low, bro. Like, I wish I, I, wish I could meet different. every single one of person yeah. who supported me in some Shake way. And I wish hands. I could just, yeah, just, just bro, thank them, honestly. It, how surreal is it when you go to a meetup and you're just like, bro, holy shit, all these people It was crazy, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, holy yeah, shit. Mike, he's walking up, he's like, manic Mike. 
Man, if Mike, like, I yeah. called Mike, we, like, me and another one of my friends, like, all, when I grew up, we, like, called Mikey Manic Mike. We've been calling him that for years. So, like, to hear other people, like, yeah. know that he, like, it's ma- surreal, right? Manic Mike, it's, like, crazy, bro. Like, I want Mikey, I think he would be cemented in, like, a legacy, Manic Mike. I, no, I wanna, Like, they're going to look back. Like, I want my going to look up on, on fucking Safari, like, Manic Mike, and he'll pop up. Like that's yeah. what I want, Mikey. That's what I want, Mikey, to do, Chiefs. <laughs> Bro, I want I want my bodybuilding. You know how bodybuilders have like big like names. Yeah, it's like yeah. the blonde myth. Yeah, the un- like giant killer. You look oh, up okay. giant, giant killer, killer. killer. Yeah. and fucking who comes up? A fucking uh, um, what? I forgot his name. That's his name, giant. That you look up giant killer, and uh, I think it's Tom Platts, is it? No, no, Danny Padilla. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is Tom Platt. No, it's not. It's Danny bro. Padilla. What the hell are you talking about? I, think I don't. I'm pretty sure it's Danny Padilla. I want mine to be Mike the Pit. Some no, shit. Manic yeah. Mike, or Manic dumb, Mike, dumbass, Mike. the fuck. Or, yeah, <laughs> we were just talking about Manic Mike. Like that's your call sign. I know. It's so funny when you guys like, bro. I'll be with them and like <laughs> the way you get like mad at each. Not even <laughs> mad. It's like you react to each other sometimes. It's the funniest shit. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's Danny. It's wait, no, no. They're trying to say Sean, like the newer guy. There's pictures here of Danny Padilla, and then there's uh the Sean. The black dude, Clarita, who's like 5'2". He's insane. He's insane. But I'm pretty bro. sure the OG, yeah, the OG was Danny Padilla. The yeah. This picture that went, that was his like main one? Yep. That's like honestly, you guys. He's a lot short. He's 5'2", oh, though. Yeah. Being shorter, you honestly have so much bro, better like chance for bodybuilding. Yo, I don't understand why, like, why people get so mad that we're short. Like, Alex, what do we measure at today? Tell them. We're going to do a YouTube video. You were 5'6", mm-hmm. right? Yeah. You were five, six and a half. You're just a little bit taller. Yeah. Bro, I don't get why people are so mad that we're... So like, I'm five, seven in shoes, all right? So that's where I tell people. I'm like, pre- like when they see me, I'm like five, seven because I'm wearing shoes, buddy. Yeah. Why are, you- are they so mad that we're short? Like, why, why can't you embrace someone else? Like, why does everyone have to be tall? Yeah. Why did, you know, you just embrace each other's fucking... Yeah, they all say that the mini Pekka's in a healer now. Yeah. That shit's funny as hell. I love that shit, bro. Yeah. I love the mini Pekka comments. You know, it's not, I don't really see it as disrespectful. I mean, maybe but it really doesn't fucking matter. It's internet, but yeah, that shouldn't be our hilarious. legacy. Mini peckers. mini peckers. Yeah, you're gonna look us up. We're gonna be mini peckers. I mean, what is our legacy, anyways, Chris? I mean, we're just fucking me heads, bro. I want to be just, just me heads, bro. We're just rich, rich piano, like cut in half, like two p- different people. Very less yeah. knowledgeable, but maybe here in the fu- uh, well, future. Well, yeah, I mean, in the future, we'll be yeah. when we've ran a shit ton more gear and more of a training. Bro, just, tell- be, just be safe. Yeah. Don't die. I, I don't I won't. think I'm I I'll probably do this show and I, I don't know if I'll compete after like, I don't know. I love bodybuilding. Get your so pro much, card bro. and just get my pro card for yeah, like the I'm, rust. I'm gonna stop for a little bit. You Maybe know? add in a little what do you like feel you wanna like I wouldn't after this show, I I'm not telling you guys what to do, obviously you do what you want to do, but if I was you, because I know you guys have the potential to get your pro card is hopefully get it the first time around. And then just like cruise on like yeah. 150 to 200. Exactly. Like you guys like talking about you do, you donate plasma, so you get all that gear out of you. You get yeah. all that bad blood blood out of you, and then you give that to someone else. They're gonna take it through your plasma because they're not gonna know you're on gear, and then you're gonna hand someone else. Yeah, your, their, your blood, dude. It's not like I'm just fu- I'm like, just fucking oh, around. I'm just kidding. Kidding. I didn't know. Anyways, yeah. you get it. You basically take all that blood that's affected by the gear, and you. Recycle it. So your or body you just can take start making new yes, blood. Yes, it starts producing new blood. Yeah. And stuff. So yeah, it's, I'll just, I'll and just then you just cruise. chill. You chill. Like, bro, I literally have only run 300. I think I'm fucking fine. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? My cock, I, I'm 10 times hornier, yeah. which isn't a fucking good thing. And then my balls <laughs> haven't shrunk at all. Yeah. Like, I, forgot cock, talk about, like, I forgot to talk about... Cause so like I'm trying to like make we're trying to have like a cool little Christian group, you know what I mean? I'm trying to like help them in their faith and stuff like that. 100%. So it's funny we we're talking about like, like cause Chris, you they got like this little <laughs> your little hentai shit you y'all. Oh be no, 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 that's Chris. That's Chris. Don't fuck me. Is it? Chris. Are you sure? Are you talking, bro? That's a fucking anime, bro. That's not hentai. So so um. What did you say? You said like you came. It was like the first yeah, night you're yeah. in my crib, and you know. <laughs> Alex asked me. He's like, he's like, honestly, like, when was the last time you watched hentai? I'm like, bro, I I binge watched it before <laughs> I left because I if I came here, 
if I came to Alex Eubank's house and was watching hentai or beat my shit or any type of porn, like, I'm going to hell. And like, the Eubank? Watch, you're going to hell. I watch too much anime, bro. He's watching fucking... Uh, no, I binge watch. I get it all out of my system. Like, I, He's like, oh, should we go to Alex's, crazy, bro? Yeah. God's going to be watching me. This, yeah. <laughs> like, this is a <laughs> holy... This is I a just holy think crib, about, bro. like, when I'm, I'm, like, close to I'm thinking about Jesus looking down on me and, like, watch my it, ancestors, yeah. like, bro, you're really jacking off instead of, like, mating with a <laughs> fine female, but yeah. even then... You know, and <laughs> why have we been talking about females so much lately, bro? That's you, you yo. What? That's you. Why is it me, simp? Mm-hmm. Well, what are y'all talking about? I'm the last <laughs> motherfucker to simp, bro. This yeah. shit is crazy. Y'all like, oh my god. As being a short male, like you have to have some crazy riz, bro. It's like, true. I'm not out here simping. Like you gotta have some crazy riz, bro. You just, you just gotta be so much more developed, like, and you got. Bro. You're with the, your bro, sex I'm, abilities. No, oh my your God. Riz, bro. This one time I was at the bar <laughs> this year. I was at the bar this summer. I went up to these women, you know, and this <laughs> shit was crazy, bro. They were uh, lesbian and they got instantly triggered just because I, I sat by them and started talking. Like, I didn't Mikey say anything Mikey pulls up bad. to him with a beer in his hand, a hard hat on. He says, <laughs> I found a hard hat on the ground. I don't know. I just put that shit on. How the you gotta talk in the mic. <laughs> no, I did not say that. What'd shit. you say? You said some crazy shit. I was like, "Hey, ladies." Yeah, like, <laughs> that's I know. I, think I don't remember what shit. I said. You definitely said no, some I didn't, shit, bro. Like, I, 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 like he whips into the chair. Like he, he whips. He's like, sits down. They're all sitting at the table, and he's just sitting here with his beard. He's like, I can, uh, I can bench uh, four, four or five. What do you think about that, ladies? <laughs> oh my! How about Lord. you bench yourself out here? I'll well, go. We have to go to like DC and one of the clubs of Joey. When I just want to, I just want to watch. I just want to watch you guys. Clubs, I don't got it in me anymore. Clubs, I'm more of a one-on-one type. I don't like it either. Bro, like motherfuckers went from fighting D Day and shit to fucking head bopping in the fucking club. Like I'm not. I don't know. I just I can't bring myself to do it anymore. It was up to me. I'm like the mysterious guy. I'm the mysterious guy in the corner (laughs) drinking his uh his his beer, and I'm just like hunched over, just drinking. And then, uh, I, like, the woman gets a... <laughs> a uh, fucking bartender tells him, he's like, this uh, this one's on the guy over there or some shit. And I <laughs> raise my glass, and then she just comes over there and starts talking to me, bro. Yeah. That shit, like... I'm the, I'm the motherfucker out there. I got, <laughs> I got a cigarette right here, like, I'm smoking like, outside, like... You want a dart? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, these are. Some I actually pulled songs. that shit. I actually pulled that shit. I did, yeah. <laughs> You're a clown, yo. Yep, pulled it. Pulled that I one. I killed you in a minute, bro. If not, I feel so much better. And yeah. we talked about it last pod, but we should go to cigar lounge, yo. <laughs> yeah, that's more of my vibe. That lady yeah. actually like. You still in that mental space? Like we we be cooking up, we smoking cigars, and we just cooking up. Like we Damn, talking I'm business right shit, now. Like, I'm crazy. I'm smoking my stool, huh? Like, <laughs> hey, Tone. Pass me the hey, lighter. Tony. You know Pass me the lighter. Eh? I'm getting real tired here, though. Yeah. This was a good We That was a good one. For How hour. long was it, bro? Hour. Oh, hour. really? Yeah, we sent I wonder the... I feel like I'm about to fall asleep, bro. Yeah. My eyes are cold. I feel like I, I just got started, eh? Yeah. Mikey, yeah. I can Mikey go for a little longer. Hours. All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Again, let us know what you guys want to see, like the name of this. Um, the goal is to do, I'd say one minimum once we're, we're moving into the warehouse. So we're gonna have a warehouse podcast room, very aesthetic. Um, so that's why we're trying to like rebrand as we go into it and do one to two a week should be doable. You guys agree? Yeah, one yeah. to two should be fine. Oh, these are gonna only get, they're only going to get better, bro. Yeah, as our chemistry, yeah, like if it's, on, we're gonna be yeah. wait, what? Guess. Yeah. Oh, guess. guess. I thought guess. you said guess. It's like, did we smoke in that Zaza? Yeah, <laughs> what? Yeah. But, um. Yeah, so if you guys want to show love and support, they have, you guys can say, uh, code Alex for all your offline flex pro Celsius. Code twin for huge subs and young Elaine. Say it in the mic because you're my. Coach, <laughs> coach, <laughs> code twin um, for young Elaine, huge. All right. Subs. All right. <laughs> all right love huge you guys. supplements. All right. Good. Love y'all. Really love big you guys. supplements. All right. God bless. Till next time. God bless. Peace out.